Hello again, it's Sean here with uh, ExpertMLMReview.org. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the product pricing for Ambit Energy. If you have gone or um, are reviewing Ambit Energy as a potential business for you, you'll find the, uh, the five-point scam analysis review of Ambit Energy, where we review Ambit on the product, the company, the compensation, the leadership or ownership, and the competition. And it gives a very good review of the company, Definitely recommend checking that out, and you can find that at ambitenergy.expertmlmreview.org. But today we're going to be doing a view, a video, and going into detail on the product, and specifically the uh, competitiveness of the product in the three markets that Ambit does business. The first um, state where they do business, and in, in the state they've been doing business longest, is Texas. So let's take a look at. Uh, and actually go back here to the review. You'll notice I have the websites listed where you can review the rates for Ambit in Texas. It's powertochoose.org. So jump over here to Power to Choose, and I've gone ahead and sped up the process by going uh, sticking in a zip code, a serviceable zip code, and we narrowed down the list to uh, all companies for one-year plans, for 12-month plans, which is a pretty standard uh, plan in Texas, probably the most common plan. And if we look at that uh, results here that I've already got brought up, uh, I've got it organized by average price per kilowatt for 1,000 kilowatts of usage, just to give us a good barometer here. And we'll scroll down. We have uh, a pretty good list of results here. And you'll notice Ambit's plan is here. Uh, actually, I uh, did not mean to click on that. Ambit's plan is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 from the eighth cheapest rate plan on there, and actually they're tied for uh, sixth cheapest, 11.4, they're tied with Kinetic and Ciro uh, on a one-year plan. So they are near the bottom of the, um, of the pricing scale for this uh, one-year plan in Texas. And like I say, that's a very good, uh, very truthful comparison in the state of Texas, which, uh, which I'm familiar with because that's where I live. Um, now, if you keep scrolling down here, you'll notice the rates range from 10.6 cents per kilowatt up to a high of 14.9 cents per kilowatt. And Ambit's rate at 11.4 looks to be very, very competitive. So that's just an example in the Texas marketplace. I'd say that that uh, meets our qualification as a, a product that is competitive for the marketplace, that uh, you know, you're offering something of value at a price that's... Uh, that is uh, competitive and not, uh, you know, not gorging the consumer by any means. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Illinois next. I've got that up on my uh, board here. The the best website in in the research that I've done to review pricing in Illinois is this Citizens Utility Board, and they've done a um, a, a test on the rates of the electric, or I'm sorry, natural gas providers in Illinois. And the funny thing is, is that the study that they did shows that 91% of the folks that switched to a deregulated gas provider in Illinois would have been better off not switching because they ended up losing money. Only 9% saved money. Let's go down and see how Ambit rates uh, in Illinois. Ambit uh, is actually, interestingly enough, and I was a bit surprised to find this, I actually viewed this uh, one other time as well. Um, Ambit Energy is the only company on here that's listed to have saved their customers money 100% of the time. Every other company on here, um, you know, is a mix of the two, and some of them have lost their customers money 100% of the time. The majority have lost their customers money the uh, the majority of the the time. You've got a company, Illinois Natural Gas Corporation, they saved their customers money more often than not, but not by much, 55% to 45%. So um, I guess the nice thing here is that in, in Illinois, Ambit has a 1% a savings guarantee. So that means that they uh, promise to at least save you 1% off of the rates of uh, NICOR in that service territory. So not much savings, but it is nice to know that it is savings 100% of the time. Uh, you can go through and, and check that out in a little bit more detail on your own time if you'd like. Let's go to the third state they do business, which is New York and Power to Choose. Uh, New York's website is energyguide.com. And if you go on Energy Guide, I've, I've went ahead and, and sorted this already, put in uh, a serviceable area, brought up the rate plans, and we've got them sorted by rate. 
Now, in, in New York right now, they have the same guarantee as Illinois, the 1% savings, savings guarantee. So, uh, same thing. They guarantee to save you money compared to the incumbent, which in this case would be Con Edison because I'm, I think I'm showing rates for the Bronx here. Um, so, from, from cheapest, which uh, Energy Plus looks to show the cheapest rates in New York right now for this area, uh, to most expensive ranges from seven cents per kilowatt up to a high of, and, and some of this is confusing, up to a high of 13 cents a kilowatt plus a five dollar a month service charge. Now Ambit in this range actually comes in more toward the higher range of pricing. They come at 13.6 uh, with no monthly service charge. So they are still not the most expensive, but they are near the higher range of the spectrum there. And I imagine that since Amit's rate in New York is a variable, 100%, um, not, a, not a locked in, it, it changes from month to month, I imagine that this is going to vary quite a bit and, and probably bounce around the, the range of, of spectrum here. So uh, I, I did jump on this one other time, and they were more toward the middle the last time I checked. But um, once again, they're they're at the higher range here, but um, you know, keep up with it if you're. This is this review is is taking place on uh, July 28th, 2009. So whatever time range that you're watching this video, go and do your own research. And and once again, the primary motivator here is if you're looking at this as a business, you just want to make sure that Ambit is is able to offer a pricing that, that you're able to extend to your clients and the people that you know that's competitive and, and something of value to them. And, uh, you know, once again, we've looked at New York, Texas, and Illinois in uh, two of the three markets, Illinois and Texas, right now as of this date, their prices are extremely competitive. And in New York, it's uh, they're toward the higher end of the scale. So I would say that across the board, that's uh, a fair review and they are definitely in the um, in the range of the marketplace. So uh, there's your review for today. Check it out in more detail yourself. And um, once again, you can review and, and refer to ambitenergy.expertmlmreview.org for more information and details regarding Ambit Energy.